Pop Squad. Come on at you. I've got a track we're doing from 1985. I'm working through a list that I found on rateyourmusic.com. And uh, it goes through all the years and lists the most popular hip-hop and rap tracks. Um, there are more and more of them as we get deeper into the 80s. Uh, I think this is number 33 on the list for 1985, and I don't think that there were that many tracks on 1984 or previous years. Um, I'm sure there were many, many tracks that actually came out during those years, but they didn't warrant listing on this list? I don't know. It's definitely not comprehensive. Anyway, this is one I've never heard of. Universal Crush Crew with the song Live on the Night Beat. Um, and it's apparently Live on the, and in parens, Night Beat, N-I-T-E-B-E-A-T. -E -E uh, Universal Crush Crew, produced by Frank Cornelius. That name sounds very familiar to me. Frank Cornelius. Maybe I'm thinking of Don Cornelius. Wasn't he um, the host of... Uh, right? Isn't that right? Don Cornelius, the host of, like, Soul Train or something? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking of. That is exactly what I'm thinking of. Okay, so that's why that name sounded familiar. Uh, no information about Frank Cornelius or Universal Crush Crew. It just goes to Empty Stubs. Um, looks like, oh, well, let's look at this quick. If we are on Genius, Genius lists this song as Rap. Uh, if we are on Discogs, it is Electronic, Hip Hop, and Electro. Uh, I have spoken of my love for Electro music, so it will not surprise you that uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I know it's going to sound like a 1985 Electro track, but sometimes those are really fun. Um, Let's check it out. It says it came out January 1st of 1985. Probably they didn't have an exact date. Um, anything else here that looks interesting? Nothing that looks interesting to me. <laughs> Apparently, Frank Cornelius uh, had the nickname Thumbs, <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, let's check this out. Live on the night beat. Oh, and I should say, I started this channel to l listen to music like this. I wanted to, and I was going to work my way through the years, re-familiarize my, or familiarize myself with all the music I missed when I was a teenager. I would have been 15 or 16 in 1985, and um, I just missed the early years of hip hop. It just there was not a place for me to listen to it. it they're like the most popular songs broke through onto the radio, and um, beyond that, nothing. I, like absolutely nothing. So that's why I started this channel was to go back and listen to that stuff and then people said hey you should listen to this and you should listen to this new stuff and you should listen to this thing from two months ago and last year and five years ago and you need to know about Drain Gang and you need to know. and then I started listening to lots of modern music. Um, I love doing this. I love going back and listening to the old stuff. I love listening to the new stuff. It's incredible to me the 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 spectrum that this stuff all lives on and I'm getting kind of both ends of it at the same time and it's it's fascinating to me it's absolutely remarkable uh let's do it seven minutes and seven seconds let's listen to live on the night beat from universal crush crew let's go okay on the night beat so that is supposed to be mimicking the sound of like a um, what's it called uh, a news um, god I can't remember it uh, like a news station a news room would have the teletype machine or something like that with information coming through and it would did it did it did it and they would even have it in like old cartoons and old movies and things like that like um, all the ships at sea did, 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 did. i hope you know what i'm talking about but anyway that's what this is trying to to evoke for us it's probably been lost in the decades since um that connection has been lost but uh, it's also supposed to sound like kind of uh, the, the title of this is night, Live on the Night Beat. The Night Beat would be the 
shift that a reporter or something like that would work or a police officer would work the night beat right and they would go out and do their work at that time of night and collect information to publish a story or do whatever uh, their job happened to be and so that's what they're also trying to get across here kind of interesting On the night beat. love the bass Nice guitar. This is MC Chief, your anchor man. Rapping on the mic like no other can. Report the news that you hear on the street and we're jamming it live. On the night beat. So on the scene in the streets of no pain. That was very loud and raw. That on the night beat. Like that did not sound right. That you hear on the street and we're jamming it live. On the night beat. So on the scene in the streets of no pity. It's MC Zeus in New York City. A man fell to the ground at the bank of a gun. After holding up a storm, been trying to run. He was fleeing the scene. A bag full of green escape plans in the four wood lean machine. His friends waited in the car, ready to throw down until they heard the four shot. Then the boy came around. Do you want to do a night? He didn't want to do time. And Sherry knows if he was gone, he'd be convicted of a crime. So he poured in the gas. He was doing top speed. Oh, I like this. I like the speed he's rapping, the storytelling kind of thing going on here. Really, really. And certainly this is unlike what we get today where people are talking about the stuff that they did. Like, they... This is was my reality. This is what happened. This is couched in terms of like a story of somebody else had this happen, and they're, they're, and these guys are just telling us this story. But this sounds cool. I'm really liking this song. See Zeus, WDKB, the dominant stage in the city. I'm sure you'll see. So that's my story of violence in the streets. Back to night beat news and MCG. Great voice. Was possessing up cocaine, took her to the state prison. That's where she be in the cell. No bell, only could see me. And so I asked her why you did it. And don't you lie. And this is how she answered with her reply. Well, I was chilling all alone in the middle of night. A car came to me with a flash of light, saying, Take this, honey, and bring back money. I said, Hi, homeboy. But don't you be so funny. When I did a favor, it wasn't too far. Besides, I didn't you know the contents of this car. Another reason why I did it, guy, because I needed the M O N E Y. a track that gives me kind of flavors of um white lines um 88 lines about 44 women all it, it, the storytelling rap tracks right absolutely reminds me of those two of my favorite rap tracks from the early days what the is, well, life is hard we turn to our man no regard he's on the scene with the news within so let's take you now to the town of berlin no speed let me see it go fast as wind i'm at the capital city that's called berlin a place run already came to honor the day of oh, this is germany now shake your head this is a disgrace and that's the fact they started world war ii just to be exact they killed a lot of people including the jews the leader was killer and it was bad news now check this out and listen to this they got a new leader now his name is helmet smith he might be called and cool as ice But way back then they didn't care about life Destroyed a lot of cities, tried to cut the world Eliminated men, women, boys and girls A boy, I tell you, that ain't right They had enough for a leader who loved the fight It was 1945, but one had in All in all, no regard from WKRN That's what 
they say. So tell us what's happening down in LA. The vacation California's the one. The beaches, the girls, the sun and the fun. I want vacations in the place to be. Big stars, big cars, and luxury. Cause it's a city of life. It comes alive. It's also a place you can be victimized. Like all the nice young ladies that will play for food, but in position by producers. And then they were used. They walk into the office, see the glamorous life. They make their minds up before the need to ever the twice. Producers see the death for actors. She's one that you like. So her to stop by his office the following night. So soon as she's in the door, you'll be kicking his game. And sooner or later, she'll be more or less the same as all the other young ladies that got turned out. But with the Hollywood producers, all the casting couch. When it's all over, you'll be running those lines. You probably thought you'd get some money, but you won't get a dime. This is a factual look from WLND. And this is MC Zeus reporting for the night. interesting you don't really hear too much about the casting couch thing anymore uh casting couch was like the term for well what he described here like producer for a movie be like oh yeah you know come and see me after like tomorrow or tonight and and we can talk maybe we can run some lines they talk about and really what the producer is doing the producer is a man and um <clears throat> is inviting the woman over to have sex to maybe allow the woman to get ahead to get a role in a movie to do something to and it was a it was a certainly a big story myth i'm sure it wasn't a myth um a, a, a big it was a thing that happened absolutely but it was um it's kind of disappeared like as far as like people talking about the casting couch and, and that sort of thing and maybe that's because we live in obviously a very different time when somebody like um who was the big studio exec a few firestein feinstein somebody like that who just got raked over the coals and he was exposed as basically a serial predator allegedly no, I don't think it's allegedly anymore. I think he was acute. He was convicted, right? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, like we don't really hear that story anymore. I wonder if that's even a thing. Like, do, does anybody know about the the concept of a casting couch anymore? Does anybody talk about that? I don't know. Let's keep going. I get is from you to me. So listen up, people from coast to coast, because if this ain't news, well, then it is the most. It struck the world like a boat of thunder. They trying to ban the music of Mr. Stevie Wonder. Let me tell you all how the story went down. As Jack the Rapper informed the town, you see, Stevie was the one best song of the year. But his friend Nelson Mandela couldn't be near, so Stevie took the award in Mandela's name. Now, Africa won't be the same. You see, the African leader who now is jail because the African leader, both they had failed to take the stand on what is rightfully theirs. Why the South African leaders take the chair? But Mr. Mandela, don't despair because Stevie will continue to be on the air. What a family thing happened May 13th as Stevie One's voice start to sing. A one hour salute across the land so the French DJs would unban. The music that he sings which is so hot but in Africa they tried to stop. Everything went well it happened at once. They got such an overwhelming response and at the UN they were so delighted to see the superstar Stevie One to invite. He performed the song which was a sensation and for that he got a standing ovation. We'll be going on location we will be live with the company Vince Family Fair 85 Hopping Slim, radio station, WJEM. I'm leaving the scene with the sexy freak as we take you back to the MC Chief. I'm the MC Chief, as you can see, on the station that's rapping politically. I'm here with live news and I'm on the scene. They're talking about taxes, do you know what I mean? A four cents to a dollar, a nickel to a dime. Inflation's on the up, don't you think it's a crime? Then the president's about to pass the bill, or that'll make your body weak and your pockets ill. Now, how are these worth being money spent? And who's to blame? The government. that track i would totally download that i never heard that before uh that's fun 
that's really fun. I I would even put that in conscious hip hip hop, right? So let me see if I could find um, old movie newsroom sounds. Custom framing is oh, preserved. Oh come on! If really, in front of this, there's an ad. That seems very strange. Let's see. That's not what I wanted. Relax and ambient soundscape, vintage sounds, common sound effects, cliches overused. <laughs> uh, teletype? This is a little different. Teletype, I think, is actually like a typewriter sort of thing. Yeah, 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 let's go. To use my restored knife from the past, or more accurately, yeah. a Bodo Blast. So, we are disappointed we didn't hear the bell. Okay. And then there's the big bell. It's like a typewriter, basically. But the, it, they would run constantly in the background, and then you would also have, like, uh, why can't I think? Ticker tape? Ticker tape machine. Yeah, what's the stereotypical ticker tape breaking news noise? That's what I want. Ticker tape. Breaking news noise. It's going to bring up that same thing. Newsroom sound effects. Ticker tape sound effects download. I'm just looking this up for fun. Uh, news effects, new sound effects, teletype machine. Hmm, I'm not finding it here. Masters on National Newspaper. Well, I can't find it. But it has that kind of bell sound that was in this. Uh, I, I enjoyed this. This was cool. I never heard of Universal Crush Crew. Never heard this song. Uh, I like this this style of rap. Like I said, 88 lines about 44 women, uh, white lines. I just I love this sort of song where they like set something up and talk about it for a bit. Set something up and talk about it for a bit. I thought this was great. It's so interesting to hear them talk about Russia and the U.S. I guess Russia ended up winning the war against the U.S. because you know Trump's in Putin's back pocket because he owes so much money to the Russians. So and and Trump loves Putin, so I guess they ended up winning that whole war. Um, if you're not, if you don't know, not too happy about how things turned out in the election. And, and when I say not too happy, I mean I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know how that happened. I I don't know how a criminal con man, failed businessman, multiple multiple times. Uh, gets elected to the office after he's a felon after <laughs> he's so incompetent uh, it's um, it's gonna be interesting to see how the next four years go i mean maybe he'll just finally fall apart in dementia and jd vance will take over i mean clearly other people are going to be running things um maybe he'll just up and die i just I, I that seems weird that that would be a, like a, the, a good scenario for this I I have no idea what's gonna happen everything's fucked um, there you go and now I'm off topic completely on the music I thought this was a good song I am probably gonna download it because I enjoyed listening to this cool stuff I'm glad I went back and found it Papa Squaw check it Please like, subscribe, and share if you would. Please go watch another video on the channel. If you are here just because you happen to like 1980s music and you happen to see this video, I do at least one video a week, really one video a week from the 1980s. Uh, but I've worked my way up from like 1979 or 1980 to 1985, so I have plenty of videos. Um, but listen to some of the new stuff and see what I have to say about it and see what you think of it. It's... So there's some amazing music out there. You just have to kind of be willing to listen. Have yourself a good, good day. I will be back 
with some more music. Oh, also, please uh, cash out PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to send me something to react to. That's the way to do it. Have yourself a good, good day. Bye-bye.